Hello, I'm Jason from Autopot, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to activate your CO2 Mother Nature uh, generator. Previously, they were pre-activated, but now it comes as a dry mix. So when you get the, uh, get the, uh, get the um, generator, or the Mother Nature CO2 generator, simply take the lid off. In full instructions are in, inside, or they'll be on the outside of the bucket. For the 5 litre, um, you add 1,250 millilitres of water, of hot water, not boiling water. Um, so you can boil the kettle, add half cold water to it, and then add it into there. So it's very simple. Just literally pour in your 1,250 mil for the 5 litre. And then you leave it for 24 hours, and then it will be ready to use. For the 10 litre bucket, which is this one here, you, you do exactly the same process, but you add 2,500 or two and a half litres of hot water, not boiling water. Thanks very much. So once your CO2, Mother Nature CO2 bucket is depleted, generally about six months, if you have a CO2 detector, you can test it to see how much CO2 is coming out, but generally six months with proper use. So you can discard and throw the contents away, it's totally organic. So I've now emptied this Mother Nature CO2 bucket and um, you can see there's an air stone in the bottom of there that fizzes away and helps generate the CO2 in the bucket. And then you simply, just for the five litre, you simply buy the five litre refill pack. Very simple, just repeat the process. So if I open one up, just literally pour it in there. And then once again, you refill with hot water 1,250 millilitres of water in the 5 litre bucket, leave it for 24 hours and then it's ready to activate again and then it will last for another 6 months. For the 10 litre, you simply put this in the bucket again and then add 2,500 or 2.5 two litres of hot water and then leave it for 24 hours and then that's ready and, and can be used for another 6 months. And then simply put the lid on and it, connect it to an air pump at the bottom and it's ready to go. Just going to show you how to test the CO2 that's produced uh, from your Mother Nature CO2 bucket. So here I have it's quite a high spec CO2 detector. At the moment there is 638 parts per million in this growing area that I'm situated in at the moment. So if I put that lever that down, and then if I connect a small pump to the bottom pipe. And when I say small, it doesn't need to be any more than 1.5 litres of air per minute. Then if I take the upper pipe, and ideally I would put that into the back of a small oscillating fan, and these should always be sat on the floor. So if I now put that near the sensor, and as the bucket gets pressurised, it will gradually increase. takes up to a, probably about a minute and it should start rising quite rapidly. So the 10 litre Mother Nature CO2 bucket is good for an area of 2.4 metres by 2.4 metres. The 5 litre Mother Nature CO2 bucket is ideally for an area of 1.2 metres by 1.2 metres. So that's now at 3,800, 4,300 parts per million. This is quite a sensitive bit of equipment and it will probably take it up to 9,999. So like I said, always have the CO2 Mother Nature bucket on the floor and CO2 will get warmer and it will rise up into the canopy and then go out of the, either the windows or an extractor. So that's how powerful they are. It's now maxed out at 10,000 parts per million. So I'll turn that off and that's a video to show you how you can test. We have CO2 detectors, cheaper versions of these, where you can detect or test your CO2 
in your area and keep a, keep a monitor of it all.